a little different from the ones I've been doing. It's a Tabata workout, which means you do two exercises back and forth for a certain amount of time, and then you switch to two, two new exercises. You can choose any two exercises you want. Today I'm doing two that are going to get the heart rate up really, really high. Well, we're going to go back and forth on those 30 seconds on with a 10 second rest four times. And then I'm going to ch uh, switch gears and move into some strength. So that will get the heart rate down just a little bit. And same thing, 30 seconds on, 10 second rest. We're going to do the strength ones three times. And then I'm going to go back to a cardio set, two different exercises, and then we're going to finish off with another strength set. So make sure you set your timers for 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'm going to be using some equipment here, but you don't need equipment. I will go through some exercises throughout the workout where if you don't have a BOSU or a med ball, then there's some options. It can be just as effective without equipment. Um, my recommendation to you would be to do a warm up, uh, watch the video first or at least some of the videos so you get an idea of what the workout is, um, what the equipment, or if you don't have equipment, what the options will be, so you're good to go and you can do the workout with me. At any time, feel free to pause, take more rest, make sure the technique is there, and then that way you're warm and ready to go. So, um, set your timers for 30 seconds on and a 10 second recovery, and we're gonna start right into the toe touches on the ball. Here we go. So hands behind the head will create more work, more core. You can also pump them. So remember, these are just 30 second sets, so we're going to really push as fast as we can. Your option, obviously, without the med ball, is just don't use, or you can use a box or a step. Just be creative.
think I did, but a little different the first time. I'll go back to how I did. Your heart rate stays up the whole time. 
Okay, you don't need to do any cardio after this. You're done. Squeeze that glute. Don't get lazy on me. Our simos. Chest and shoulders stay up. So you don't walk the knees. Okay, it's just like letting the dumbbells touch on a chest press. That's recovery and rest. Keep those muscles engaged. Squeeze your bum. Weights on the outer foot and heel. Continue to breathe. Stay positive. Five seconds. Okay, time to get that heart rate up. We're into a side lunge, high knee, all one leg. So try to get the knee up to that elbow. We're really working our quads here. Bending at your knee, not your waist. Not like this. Right? Do it properly. Get rid of the jump if you need to. Okay. Knee kicks. Okay, add a pile to make it hard. Bringing your knee in and kicking. I'm going too slow. You want to pick up the pace. Okay. Push to your maximum level. Or, okay, just make sure you're uncomfortable. Change requires some discomfort. You got to keep that in mind.
is the last round of this. Let's push. Okay. Keep your chest up.
Thanks so much. I want to hear from you. Enjoy your day. See you next time.